Louisiana Beer Reviews, Shiner FM 966, Springtime, Farmhouse Ale. Now this 966 is a state highway in Texas. There's a lot of uh, smaller state highways that are labeled FM, Farm to Market. And that is a highway number 966 that leads out of Shiner, Texas. So there you go with that. Uh, this was introduced in 2012, I think, late 2012. We first saw it here in early 2013. Made for spring. It's a Saison Ale, 5.7% alcohol, 21 IBUs, so it's not going to be too bitter. Uses Golding, Sterling, and Meridian hops. Gets an average rating on Beer Advocate. Only a 29 out of 100 on Rape Beer, a 2 out of 100 for the style. But it does get a very fine rating on the beer in me, which would be like a good rating or a B. I've never had it. I just bought it this week. So um, they've got it for about 966. 966. <laughs> 699. <laughs> a six pack at the stores right now. All right, nice hiss there. A lot of smoke coming out. You might see that it's very overcast today. The lighting is poor. Don't suppose there'll be any sediment. Now, Shiner these days, for the last few years, is a Gambrinus company, and you can check out the Gambrinus website get an idea of what brands they own. Okay, um, thick, foamy, off-white head, and the appearance is little, well, it's very much condensation out here, but it's a little hazy, golden appearance with some screaming bubbles, so nice looking ale. Let's check out the aroma on this one, shall we? Oh, that has a nice aroma. Biscuity and some flowers and some hops. It smells like springtime. <laughs> it just has a very um, sort of bursting aroma. It's hard to describe, but I like it. I like it a lot. I also like to watch Jez's beer reviews from Australia, and I also like to watch Glenn's beer reviews from Australia, and I also like to watch Swilling Grog's beer reviews from Australia. The taste is so spicy. It's almost like they added, they must have added some kind of spice, but they, I, I don't know if they did it. They just have those three types of hops. It's like a I'm not going to say coriander, but some kind of pepperiness and citrus, um, like maybe apricots and the barley malt, the breadiness. Some sweetness. Maybe bread dough. I don't see why this beer would get low ratings. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's mass produced. Some people are going to rate a mass-produced beer low as a matter of course. That's how it goes. All right, anyway, um, nice lacing. Not heavy, but a nice ring. The mouthfeel is... Medium. Sort of slick. The finish is, um, well... I'll say mostly dry, well, no, <clears throat> semi-dry, it's um, very easy drinking, smooth, uh, the bitterness level is low, the hoppiness is low, and it's uh, very drinkable and delicious, so hey, this is an A-minus beer, this is one of the better beers I've had from Shiner, so Les Les Bon Temps Relais, this is an excellent beer to an extent. For $6.99, or if you're thinking backwards, $9.66. But for $6.99, a six-pack, that's not too bad. So 
I'm gonna end this review by saying laissez les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. We'll get some crawfish and burl them. Burl some crawfish. And y'all come on down to New Orleans.